What's going on AmFam? So we're out here at Zebulon and I am about to start my first A tier ever. Um, it is going to be the Republic Wireless presents the um, the 38th Dogwood Crosstown Classic um, and it's driven by cattle so shout out to cattle for putting on some great events. Um, I want to just kind of put it out there and say I'm excited, I'm nervous. Um, it's gonna be my first A tier and we have nine women in the FA1 division, which is awesome. And I'm talking about solid players. Um, girls that I actually really enjoy playing with, so I'm super excited about it. But um, I'm going into this just playing my game and being smart um, about what I do and keeping it in a fair way. We're playing three different courses, so it's Zebulon. Um, is the first course that I'm going to be playing at. The second course is going to be um, is going to be Cedar Hills, which is in Raleigh, um, and then the last course, which is going to be on Sunday, is going to be Clayton, and it's from the Long Pads. It's going to be tough, so definitely keep you guys posted on how everything's going. kind of chill here and just kind of talk about what we did this round and um, some of the pros and some of the cons. I felt like putting for me was, On fire. was super strong. I'm kind of glad that all my putting practice has kind of really paid off. Um, some of my drives I was missing just slight misses, just not hitting the lines that I know I can hit. So I think if I can improve on that and some of my approaches getting a little bit closer, I wouldn't have to putt so much. So what about you, Jay? Yeah, I mean, all around, I think it was pretty consistent. Um, I felt pretty good about my drives. Not so good about my putts, but I was um, doing the smart thing, just laying it up and uh, putting it underneath the basket for the easy par. Um, which kept my mental game good. Uh, I wasn't making those circle three putts like Whitney was, <laughs> made that nasty putt for three yeah, for after hitting out of bounds. Uh, called it before it, that was that was really good. Nice, nice shot on that one. And yeah, then you consistently awesome. were hitting those 28 footers. So, I mean, you just gotta keep grinding. Uh, this is another course, uh, you gotta keep it in the fairway. If you move off the fairway, yeah. it's, it's a hard par. Um, so yeah, Definitely. there's a fun mix of forehand dominant yes. and backhand <laughs> dominant. So like seeing both of those routes and seeing 100%. them crush was like super fun. Um, yeah. Yes. So we'll see how Cedar Hills goes. Um, hopefully the weather will stay clean for us. Uh, there's supposed to be some storms coming in at five. So hopefully we can push through and, and yeah. uh, take over the world. So catch y'all on the next round. So we just finished day one. Um, so I played Zebulon and Cedar Hills. So I just finished up the Cedar Hills round and Bev here played over at Clayton. Um, so we're gonna kind of talk about our round and see kind of how it was. So um, we'll talk about the hot first <laughs> round. Yeah, Somebody right. had at Cedar Hills today, which was uh, pretty awesome. So tell us about it. Yeah, so Cedar Hills is honestly, we are talking about on our card today that Cedar Hills can really be um, you know, you can shoot plus six at Cedar Hills, plus ten, or you can shoot minus six. Um, it can go either way. Um, if we talk about keys to uh, to my day in shooting the minus six round, which is tied for my best round that I've, I've ever shot there, um, the experience and stuff that I've had at Cedar Hills, which is really the course that I've learned on um, and I've probably played the most, is uh, just be clean off the tee um, and then know know exactly um, you know what holes you should go for for birdie for and what holes you should you know go for a stress-free par and uh, I think that's what I was was really able to do uh, and capitalize on um, today you know like hole, like hole six is one that I want to get um, and just you know focusing as corny as it is all the pro athletes and stuff say you know focusing on one shot at a time but it's really um, uh, I think it's very annoying that people say that in interviews <laughs> as I'm saying it now, but um, <laughs> it is a great way to think um, 
I actually in the in the car ride to Cedar Hills this morning, um, you know, I kind of equated disc golf to being just a a series of of miniature obstacles that you've got to get over, um, and looking at them as miniature obstacles, they are in your way, um, and you do have to do something to get over them, but they're they're not insurmountable. Um, and again, playing that shot by shot um, was really huge today. Um, the putter was on, I've been practicing on a, on a new putt, so that worked. Um, and then honestly, just clean off the tee. That's what it was all about at, at Cedar Hills. And so one bogey, um, and honestly, that's the putt, a high putt. And I, you know, I don't have that, but I bounced back with the birdie. So it was an excellent round, probably the best, I'd say the best round of golf um, that I've played so far, so. Heck yeah, no that's, I mean, Cedar Hills is definitely one of those ones where if you don't hit those lines and you don't keep it in the fairway yes. and sometimes disking down, which is probably the hardest thing I have to deal with is trying to, yes. <laughs> is disking down because I automatically want to go with the disc that's going to get me the most distance. Um, but then what happens is if you get off the fairway or you get a kick, you're going to end up yes. with a huge skip off or, you know, worse. So, um, but yeah, I mean, first round was kind of slow starting for me. Um, second round was kind of vanilla, uh, but I set a game plan of playing for par. So I played for par, I ended up with two bogeys, so I shot a plus two. Um, and I mean, it was, it was a pretty good round. I mean, I felt pretty comfortable. My putting this weekend has been absolutely awesome. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, the, some of the awesome putts that I made and also the work that I've actually been putting on outside of the course and at home and in my free time sitting here putting all the time so it's nice to actually see it pay off um, during the tournament so I'm super excited um, tomorrow is going to be East Clayton and I got the blue pads so it's gonna be any advice? it's gonna be tough <laughs> uh, look it's when you're playing from the blues uh, you know it's it's easy to especially when you play the long tees at a place. It's very easy to get on the tee, um, and, you know, look down and then look over at the uh, at the hole sign and then you yeah. see par whatever. And that's what they expect you to play that, but that's from the longs. I mean, that's really probably <laughs> yeah. what the MPO is playing at. And that's yeah. like a, a huge thing for me is I need to play the course at an MA2 skill level and knowing or I'm thinking about who I'm playing against yeah. And that if hole five at Cedar Hills is an exact, it's a great one. There might have been one birdie out of anybody in MA2. So getting a par is good. I guarantee on my car, I think there were two fours on my car the first round. So, yeah. you know, you, you, you look at where can I gain strokes at and you find holes like that. And that's going to be what's going to be big for you tomorrow is a lot of those holes become that same type of hole where you kind of need to say, all right, well, I'm going to play for that par. Um, and be smart about it because Clayton, man, Clayton Longs, even Clayton <laughs> Shorts, like, yeah. at Clayton, if you get off that fairway, you, it's it's very hard to be able to make forward progress in your next shot, so. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Hopefully we can bring it back tomorrow and all three of us get at least top three finishes. That'd be great. It'd be awesome, so. All right, catch y'all on the flip side. time to kind of talk about me and my round and kind of reflect on everything that happened. I ended up coming in second place so you know I can't complain about that. Uh, there's nine of us out there and um, I played over my um, my player rating so that's all I can ask for. Um, my first A tier I will say my experience is competition out here is pretty thick and I love it. It's awesome. Um, things I'm going to work on from here on out. Um, I'm definitely going to start spending more time with my mid ranges and my putters throwing um, off the tee. I think that really hindered me because I like to rely a lot on my fairway drivers 
um, and some of my distance drivers whenever I'm forehanding and when you play the tight wooded course like um, like Clayton you end up you know you don't want to get that skip off the fairway because it's tight fairways um, so you kind of want to be able to throw something that you know that's going to finish straight and not give you um, a crazy skip so you know, that's something I'm going to work on in the next couple of weeks. Um, the next tournament I have coming up is a Husky, um, the Eco Tour in a Husky. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but yeah, so I guess uh, check you guys on the next tournament.